Hey guys, welcome back to Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Last time we finished the mines and got access to this dark forest up here. So let's check it out. We beat a boss character and we are going towards the next gate. The gate that starts the next chapter. So I wonder if there's still another boss or not. Either way, the dark forest was inaccessible. The excuse being, without a map, there would be no way to navigate this thing. And the dwarf marked on our map the location. Actually, the map looks fairly straightforward on the top right there. It's a lot better than the mines. I could kind of make sense of, okay, I covered the left, now I'm going to cover the right. Whereas the mines, it was just snaking every which way. All right, chunks, let's go! Very nice. Got our ammo back and everything. Do 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 do. So yeah, I got a, I got a bacon cheeseburger waiting for me, man. Because we went to this restaurant that was uh, the special for today, being Tuesday, was buy one get one free burgers, and my mom got a quesadilla because she wanted one of those. I was like, the bill will be cheaper if you get a burger, but she really wanted that quesadilla, so she's like, why don't you get the second burger and take it home? So that's what I did. I had a bacon cheeseburger and fries, and now I have a bacon cheeseburger and some kind of nasty kettle chip things, but you know those ones that are practically burnt that sports bars do sometimes? I'll probably eat that much later, though, or tomorrow. Dead end. Wait, what's in this alcove? Yeah, see, that's one thing I don't like about this game. There's all these little dead ends and alcoves that look like they could have a hidden item. And there's no treasure chest. There's no way to sniff out hidden items. That's one thing I would add. If I were to retouch this game, I would, uh, I would add that. Then again, we're constantly battling the weight limit, so... I don't know. Maybe that's why they didn't do it. These guys are pretty easy. Oh, we can't carry the iron shield. That's a lot of money to sell, though, I think. Well, if that's the case, we've got plenty of recall potions. Never will you see such fine steel as you will in this shop. Swords, axes. Okay, let's get that shield and get ready to sell it. Check the dead ends anyway. Nope, nothing. Let's see, what else is going on lately? I mean, not much. Like I said, I've been barreling through these videos, so... Not... Oh, stupid tree. What is that thing? Let's see, like, what is that? Look at on the map. It, it says we can go here, but there's trees blocking the way. Eh, whatever it was, it's dead now. Some little mage thing.
Maybe I could go back and finish the remainder of Rayman Arena that I left hanging. Just be for the same reason, I just, I wonder... I don't know. I don't know how people are gonna take interest to this. But it's almost like I gotta, like, vary up the release dates of stuff. Just to keep things fresh. What is this? Oh, the horn. Dear Lord, not only did it sound weird, but it cut off strangely. Everybody on the count of three, let's imitate that horn. One, two, three. Okay, shut up. Ice cave. Oh, the wampas. We need a better bow. For a human archer, man, we're playing more like a dwarf. Oh, well, that's a pool of wampas. Let's check out this side. Ah, either way, there's wampas. Cold be heart and hand and bone. The road we travel is far from home. I'm getting the experience. Do you not see what lies ahead when sun has faded and moon is dead? My pack won't hold anymore. My pack won't hold anymore. That's because we have that iron shield we gotta sell, but I'm not gonna recall every two seconds. Maybe it's about time we, uh, the next level up, which is very soon, maybe we should do endurance. Or whatever it was that was carrying capacity. Or maybe we could do it in, what? Is it the dragon? It's cloaking chimera things. Oh, I don't like that at all. Not one bit. Dude, you don't even give me a chance. There it is. What do we want to do? Ooh, we got special stuff. Melee and damage. Last time we did ranged and armor class. Strength is our best. Maybe we should just put everything into that rather than trying to balance it out. All right, 11 points. Enchant arrows we cannot do. Flame arrows we could really beef up. Endurance. Your carrying capacity. Let's do that. Seven points. We could do it again. Hmm. Critical hit. I like that. Yeah, we're doing that. Three points left. Death blow. Just going for the critical hits, man, since we're playing more like a dwarf anyway. The bow. Until we get a better bow... Hey, what the heck? That's right, he was there, wasn't he? Dude. Oh, and he lives. We're jumping a bit like a Nancy. 
I had a roommate once in college who used to jump over everything. Like, if there was, like, a... It didn't matter. Like, it, there could be a pencil on the floor, and he would, like, super bunny hop over it. Which led to the nickname Foo Foo. And then that became Foof. He was a bit out there, that guy. But he was alright. Listen. You wanna go to war with me? You cannot wield it. None of us can. And what would this ranger know of it? This is no mere ranger. This is Aragorn, son of Arathorn. And you owe him your allegiance. This is a seal those heir. An heir to the throne of Gondor. Gondor needs no king. Or no, Gondor has no king. Gondor needs no king. Ah, you stoop! I was swinging like a madman, and you still snuck up behind me. Touche, brother. Say, brother. That's a mighty fine hat you got there. How about a sarsaparilla? Hey, it's a... Most welcome treasure chest. It's been a long time since we've seen one of those. Unless you count the mines, of course. There was some in there, but... That was a real quality chest. Speaking of real quality chest, how about that elf? <laughs> Stupid. I don't know, man. You gotta have fun with it. Whoa, that's a big wolf. What is that? He blows ice. Did that hurt? I don't know. That is one huge ogre thing. Man, that thing is massive. Nothing we can't make quick work of, though. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. I just wanted the treasure. I mean, we could theoretically run right through this, but there's no need to kill everything. Holy crap, I almost died. I caught that last second. You see how low my health got? Man. That would have sucked. Another dead end nook with no treasure. I mean, the treasure was here, so I guess kind of, but... Where are you, punk? Alright, I'm, I'm going across the river. I'm getting a different vantage point.
Oh, not the spiders. Not Zazu. Do, 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 do. Yes, detonate. Cut and detonate. Cut in front and detonate. That's what it is. <laughs> Right or left? Uh, let's go this way. I've still got the Mario Galaxy games to cover. I don't know when I'm going to get to them. And like I said, it could be... Well, I don't know what's going to happen, but... Like, these social security people might tell me to, like, stop doing YouTube. Which, I really don't want to do that. Like, in that case, I'll just have to suck it up and figure out how else I'm going to live my life. Not that, like, I want to, like, abuse disability or anything like that. I'm just listening to my doctors, and they're they're the ones advising me to do this. I don't know if there's a way to convince them that YouTube literally pays pennies. And just because I'm able to do it doesn't mean it's, like, sustaining me. But I guess that's not what they look at. They look at if you're capable of doing something. So it's like, if you could if you could sit on a computer and do YouTube videos, then technically you could have a real job. Like, a real job, I mean, not, not labor. <laughs> Uh, white collar versus blue collar is what I'm saying. But, just go ahead and try to get a white collar job. Just try it. See how hard it is to even get a call back for the interview process. So when you're me, it just increases your depression. Causes panic attacks and stress. And you end up settling for just going back to the grocery store because it's all you know and it's like what's easily attainable. But yeah, literally right now I'm making, especially because the pay rate of stuff has increased in recent years. Even jobs I once held before, I, I actually know this for a fact, I was making $16 an hour at this one warehouse job in 2016. And I recently went back and applied to get that same job back. And I was the fastest one in the, uh, they have like, a, as part of the, uh, the training and the application process, you have to do a little test. And I was the fastest and most accurate one and I still didn't get the call back. But the starting rate, my point in bringing it up is I was making $16 an hour after having worked there for years. Like that was, that was a raise I got to reach $16 an hour. And now the starting rate was 20. Which is more than I've ever made in my life. I've never made $20 an hour. Well, with night shift differential pay, uh, I, I made $19 an hour last. And uh, with differential pay because of the shift work that I did, it probably was 20 something. But that differential just comes out in taxes anyway.
Now, if that's the rate that is considered minimum wage these days, if $20 an hour is the new, like, apply to any grunt labor position and get $20 an hour, no problem, then, uh... This YouTube stuff is so sad in comparison. Like, it, it, it can't even compete with grocery stores. I'll tell you the amount, but what do we got here? Oh god, it's the dragon! And treasure. And the gate! I guess this is the chapter boss. Oh crap, we did just save, though. So that's, that's good. We, we, uh... If this goes completely south... We could just reload. Saraxis. That sounds like a disease. Oh, jeez. What we got here? Whoa, that was a big potion. Big! Oh my gosh, that was a whack. Crap. I'm not even in range of his breath. What's hitting me? Oh, is it the rocks? Man, he... He slows you down and just destroys you. You gotta keep moving. Alright, the, the strategy for chapter one does not work here. You cannot camp and fire and just trigger happy L and R. You gotta stick and move, Mac. It's working. We have him down to uh, half, about. It's working. I know it's working. Run! some chunky potions. We must be getting into big territory. These lesser potions are soon not going to do anything. Oh, you had to take off, didn't you? Too long, but we did a ton of, a ton of damage. A ton of damage, yes. I thought I caught a pussy cat. Yes! That wasn't so bad once I realized you just gotta dance around. What do we wanna do? Flame arrows? Well, what if we're going to like an icy spot now? Or like a fiery spot? Well. Endurance? Should we just go nuts? Carrying capacity? Now what? Six points left. Just go nuts with the critical. No, what about armor? Three points left. And that always leaves us with the dopey ones. I guess health regeneration again. What is this? Oh, yeah, that's mana stuff. And then that's, yeah, regeneration's probably... M we don't, don't give up, and we won't. No, that's generation, not regeneration. Goodbye, Mr. Dragon. Back 
That's it? No character to come in and be like, you slayed the dragon of Dongledu. Alright. Chapter 3. Hot Dirt. Marsh of Chalimber. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. It's all right, she said. Once upon a time, I used to live the perfect life. The Marsh of Chalimber. What a name. I guess we should save. We have a backup save this time. I don't know why I don't do that all the time. It's not that hard to delete it later when I'm about to start the next recording. But you know that would be too hard. Like sweeping the floor. Who wants to do that? Now sweeping is easy. If you have a broom, sweeping is no problem. It's mopping that's a pain in the butt. And how does a... Get out of here. How does a mop... Even do anything worthwhile? It's just like... Mop heads, I know they clean them. But something about a mop just always smells filthy. And breeds filth. And that's what we use to clean the floors? I don't know. The Swiffer things seem to be better. What is this, the crypt again? We got undead dudes. Guess we'll press on to the next town, save and quit there. Stay down. Stay down. Mm. We can't recall. We we have nowhere to recall to. And we're very close to weight limit, even with the increase. So we just gotta. We gotta press on. Oh no. Okay, well, I guess we're foregoing the war hammers. They're probably worth a couple thousand too. Wow, even the healing potion? What if we get rid of the mace? I can get the healing potion at least. Ah, rats. Yeah, but you want to know the YouTube amount? Since I don't really care, you're not supposed to ever tell people what kind of money you make. I know that. But I've always consistently broken the rules of what you're supposed to talk about and not talk about. I will tell you that right now, with how low of a state everything is in, how far my channel has fallen, I make like $800 a month on YouTube. So if you had these delusions in your head that I'm like some 62,000 subscribers pretty big YouTube channel that can do this for a living, I make $800 a month. That does not even pay rent. That's why I had a Patreon, which did pay my rent, and then the other stuff went to my other bills. So I, ba I basically broke even every month never really increasing my savings account. And then of course, that is a big chest. Ah, uh, lots of gold though. Hold on, what if we, what if we uh, drop the lesser potions and pick up the bigger ones? Ooh, beating the system. That's using your brain. 
I don't know if the weight limit's the same, though. I didn't check. I can't carry anymore. Why can't you pick up arrows? We even decreased the weight of them. Adder Spine Road West. Nobody messes with Adam Wee. Holy crap. Marshland lizard people. Surprise, surprise. It's all the fantasy tropes. I like it though. I've always liked the lizard guys. And they go down like nothing. I liked this strategy I just thought of here. Oh, they are bigger though. Oh, we can't even pick up a small one anymore. All right, well, there's some potions there if we need them. What we got here? Stinking marshlands as far as the eye can see. We'll be throwing poop. Jeez, this is a poison mess. Just like fart clouds everywhere. Oh my gosh. Let's go back and get those potions. I don't care about the recall potion. We have probably too many of those anyway. Do, do, do. Oh, I see. When they die, they fart. Anyway, back to the other topic. Uh, once upon a time, like when everything really took off during COVID with the randomizers and everything, when I was getting like millions of views, well, not millions, but several hundred thousand per randomizer and stuff. At one point, the most money I ever saw on YouTube a month was $3,000. But then it very quickly became like a regular 1,000 something. And it's it's basically, ever since COVID, it's been consistently dropping in amount. And now with all the drama that has happened recently, like we're, we're clinging to that 800 and that's dropping. So the hope here is that YouTube memberships will help me out and getting back to consistently doing videos like this will hopefully, but we've, what I've learned is variety doesn't work. Everybody wants me to just do Zelda randomizers. And at that point, like, is that better than grocery grunt labor or warehouse grunt labor? Cause that's the thing, like at the time when I, when COVID hit and I left my job, I was lucky enough to say that I was making the same amount of money just doing YouTube videos. That's not true anymore. I can't even afford my bills. I'm, I'm slowly dying over here without a uh, better source of income. So something has to change. I'm working on it. I'm first following my doctor's orders just to see what happens. But they said it could take five years. That's what they told me. Like, I'll be appealing rejection letters for five years until they finally accept it. And they may never do it as, for as long as I do YouTube. I don't know. I don't know how it works. 
So we may soon find ourselves back in a warehouse and doing far less YouTube. Because I think the days of Zelda randomizers are, are over. Like, who really wants to watch another one of those? I would be surprised if the answer w was somebody does. But then again, I guess the existence of ZFG and people like him is proof that Zelda randomizers are still a thing that people are obsessed with. Maybe not so much. I don't know, man. You gotta do what, what feels right. And right now, playing Baldur's Gate feels right. Hey, you're not an enemy. Slave boss. Peace. Peace. Show no weapons. I have no wish to fight you. I am called Slave Oss. I place the wall of vines upon the snaking trail of mud to herd you here to this island. Mm. Why did your people attack me when I entered the marsh? The warriors who attack you are not my people. Once, perhaps, but no longer. I live here in the marsh, alone, a tribe of one. The marsh spoke of your coming. The mud vipers, the carrion beetles, the haskar birds, the rost fish, all told me of you. Your first step into the marsh rippled outwards like a stone upon a pond. Why did you block my path? Had you kept upon the road of snaking mud, you would have stumbled upon the gathered tribes of my people. They live within the innards of one of your drowned cities. It is no place for a warm blood from beyond the marsh. I have brought you here to ask why you have come to our lands. The Onyx Tower, is it your god? What? The Onyx Tower, whose surface glitters like oil upon the water. It arrives in our homeland quick, sudden, and stabs into the heart of the marsh like a poison. All the tribes have raised their spears to it. Their hissing has become low and weak, that of slaves. The tower has devoured the hearts of my people, all except slave us. We can help each other. If you will strike the spider within the tower, then I will give you help any way that I can. Supplies, guidance, these things I may help you with. If you wish to reach the tower, you must first go to the tribes of my people. Slave us shall ungrow the walls of vines in your path, clear the way for you. Continue along the snaking trail of mud to the drowned town of humans, now the great gathering place of the tribes of the marsh. <sighs> Beyond the drowned city is the tower. Do they have any weaknesses? The tribes are camped in the innards of the human drowned city. To scatter them, you must break the spine of the tribes. Find our king, Sesith. Very strong, very angry, but stupid like big tree. He lives in Great Stone Fort in human town. Find him there. Kill him. Cess his death. Or make the tribe scatter like wolves and snakes. Follow the drums. They will lead you to my people. Once before the great drowning, our land was the land of your people. Now, under the water, many things of your people can be found. Things of steel and magic. Slavers cannot use them, does not need them. 
Okay, this is a lot of stuff. Let's just... Can we see what you have? Are you the shop guy? I don't remember any of this. Yeah, let's get rid of our junk. What? Why did it start on this menu? Masterwork Morningstar. It's still not as good as that Mithril Scimitar we have, though. Get that weight off of us. Whoa! Those boots are better than the scale boots. Looking at half plate, 30 defense. That's not much, and it's 46 pounds. Full plate mail, 50 pounds. We can't possibly carry something like that. Holy crap, look at how expensive these things are. Mithril Morning Star, we could go back to that, but we don't have enough. Icy Burst Darkwood Short Bow. There's our better bow, we can't afford it though. Plus Icy Burst and then we'd be using Flame Arrows. Another bow that's better than what we've got, probably. Yeah, we've only got 10 to 18 damage. And that was once the best bow we could buy. We're really low on arrows. Okay, 145. That'll be enough to just do something with. I really want to buy that bow. Even if we sell our stuff, we still won't have enough. We're going to have to press on with what we've got, I guess. But yeah, 10 to 18 versus 24 is 69. We could take that bow to the end of the game, probably. I don't even know when the end of the game is. What? Oh yeah, he said something about vines. Put those boots on. Twenty-three is our defense. But it's only fifteen pounds. And we're having trouble with everything. I think we should just roll with what we've got. You have returned. Is it help you need? Uh there was something about resting. Yeah, can you guard me while I rest? I don't think we need to do that, though. Alright, well, that... I don't know. Was, was that a longer video? I think it was. Yeah, we started in, like, the previous town. So, we are on Chapter 3. Next time, we will resume from here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your support, and take care.